Make Liverpool is a maker organisation and we serve the creative industries. We do that by having space for people to work in, we have a workshop for people to use as members and we run events and meetups and, and all sorts of different things. It's for the maker community primarily, but it's also for hobbyists, it's also for people who want to fix and repair things, and it's for anybody who's involved in the creative industries, really. We occupied this space that has been vacant for 10 years, um, and it really has been the catalyst for us to be able to achieve what we wanted to, in terms of accessibility, ground floor space, a space where we can make noise and people can experiment with their practice. The first things we did was sort of fix up the building and then the almost the immediate second thing was to start trying to collect tools to make a workshop um, because the dream in creating this place was to create a space where people could come use tools that they couldn't afford at home or couldn't have access to without paying exorbitant fees to sort of be able to make the things that they wanted to. It kind of began from that dream and without a lot of money we started a tool drive to sort of get the tools into the workshop. So, you know, the question is, what do you do when it's things that you need and it's not money? We had our social investment from the beautiful ideas that allowed us to get the, the building, um, but now we needed to fill it with tools. So we could either ask people for the money or we could ask people for the equipment. And we decided that there's a lot of equipment out there just exactly like this piece of machinery that was donated today. That's exactly what, what we're going for here. Uh, we're, we're saying that you know we'll use it. All of the, the major pieces of equipment, so the lathe, the table saw, this band saw, belt sander, the chop saw, these pieces of equipment were all donated to us. Um, and we've either brought them back into use or they were already usable. These are the tools that people will be able to use in, in our makerspace. Okay, so this is going to be studio space. This is workspace um, and each of these rooms it, are going to be hireable, rentable spaces for people to work in. Um, and we're also going to have sort of co-working going on in the middle as well, but we're going to expose the sort of, you know, get the, the warehouse vibe going through because we're in a warehouse and it's not a case of shying away from that. It's a case of showing, you know, this is the, this is the context that we're working in and I actually really like the ceiling. Our aim really is just to avoid those major costs for someone who's going into self-employment, has just graduated from university and offer the opportunity to really experiment in a space where people are able to give free peer assessment, free advice and not be shy to sort of share those ideas and skills. Five years time, I would, I would like to have got to the point where there's enough money that maybe we thought about doing some of the quirky things in here, like, you know, putting in sort of more space above the, the rooms if people wanted it. Very much inspired by some of the studios that you see in New York that are quite DIY. You know, they're just given a, a room and, and they build their own little mezzanines, they build their own little storage units and stuff like that. An eclectic group of people in here would be great. Lots of people doing lots of different things that are supporting one another and um, people like really seeing this as, as the, the place where their business is based and, and having their identity synonymous with, with being in the studio. ask you both what excites you most now you've come to this point and you're so nearly there and achieving your dream of starting this what are you feeling um everything <laughs> sometimes overwhelmed really happy we're just really really like happy that it's starting that we're getting to do it and Liam well we've been able to offer support to people in the Baltic Triangle through our studio space 
and it's really nice to be able to do that on a wider scale for for makers and, and artists and, and people who who need the support and, and need that barrier removing from being able to get in somewhere and, and have the tools to, to make the things that they make. I think that people have an innate desire to create things and to get away from their their rooms and their houses and our world is so increasingly insular with the internet and with technology and with you don't actually have to leave you know but I think that having the opportunity to go somewhere and talk to someone else who also wants to make something or has the same drive as you is really important and just helps feed your soul if that sounds a little cheesy but it's true you know it makes you feel better to be with a community of people who want to create things as well. 